There are six summer crops that you should always directly sow by seed, despite the fact that you're going to find them for sale at your local garden center. So to start off, there are so many benefits of directly sowing your seeds. It's cheaper, it's easier, and it's actually the preferred method for many crops. So the crops that we're talking about today include basil, beans, cucumbers, okra, melons, and squash. And it's really common to find all of these at your local garden center growing as transplants, but just because you see them there doesn't mean that you should plant them as transplants. It's so much cheaper to buy a packet of seeds for just three to $4, sometimes cheaper, versus three to $5, sometimes more for just one transplant. So when you see these as transplants at your local garden center, skip them and just buy the seeds and plant them as seeds. They're gonna grow so much better that way. And it's such an easy method. And I'm gonna go over how to plant all of these out in the garden. But before we do that, I just want to mention that they are all warm season crops and they thrive in warm temperatures. And they are all going to germinate in soil that is around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Soil can be a little bit cooler or warmer, but the ideal range is around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And after you plant the seeds, you just wanna make sure you keep that soil moist until germination occurs, which on average for all of these crops is gonna be within seven to 14 days. So now let's talk about basil, which is the first one on the list. Basil is a really easy to grow herb, and all you have to do is stick the seeds a quarter of an inch deep in the soil and space the plants 12 to 18 inches apart. I have basil planted all throughout my garden. It's one of my favorite herbs to grow because it deters pests and it attracts beneficial insects. This plant right here is one that we started from a cutting over winter. This one here is some seeds that we started a couple weeks ago. And then this plant here actually popped up all on its own from basil that had went to seed in this bed last season. And now onto the next easy to grow crop from seed, which is beans. You just need to plant the seeds one inch deep, six inches apart in rows 18 to 24 inches apart. These here are bush beans and they don't require a trellis. Although if you notice the plant starting to fall over, you can support them with some stakes or twine. And you can also plant them along a trellis if you like. And then I have pole beans here that will grow up this cattle panel trellis. So you definitely wanna give pole type varieties something to grow upwards on. Next up is cucumbers. You just plant the seeds one inch deep, 12 to 18 inches apart in rows three to four feet apart. Cucumbers don't have to grow up a trellis, but they will benefit if you give them a trellis to grow on because it will keep them up off the ground, which prevents disease and pest issues, and it makes harvesting much easier. Next on the list is melons, and melons should be planted a half to one inch deep, three to four feet apart in rows five to six feet apart. Melons sprawl and get really long, and you don't want all the vines tangling into each other, so giving them plenty of space is ideal. And right here are all of the melons that actually came up in my garden from last year. I didn't clean them all up, and so the melons just rotted out in the garden, and now all of these seeds have germinated and we have ton of, tons of seedlings. So I'm just leaving the plants here and once I notice which ones are growing healthiest, I'll pull out the others and just keep one plant growing every three to four feet. Next up is one of my favorite summer crops, which is okra. All you have to do is plant the seeds half an inch deep and space the plants one foot apart in rows three to four feet apart. You might notice slow growth in the beginning, but once the weather gets hot, the plants really start to take off and you'll likely be harvesting pods daily. And lastly, you should always directly sow your squash plants. This includes summer squash like zucchini and crookneck squash, winter squash, and pumpkins. The spacing is going to vary by variety, so be sure to check the seed packet for planting the seeds at the correct spacing. But in general, most summer squash varieties are bush type plants and can be planted closer together. And then most winter squash Varieties are vining and they sprawl farther, so they need to be spaced further apart. But when it comes to planting the seeds, they're all the same, and all you have to do is plant the seeds one inch deep, and you'll see germination in no time, and your plants will quickly take off. And now that we've gone over how to plant all of these crops, I wanted to go over some common issues that you might face when you directly sow your crops and how you can prevent these problems. So the first problem is that you might have snails or slugs that eat the young seedlings. So all you have to do is sprinkle some slug bait around your plants at planting time. I like to use sluggo, it works really good. You can just sprinkle that all around the perimeter of where you plant so that it prevents any of the slugs or snails from getting to your plants. The next problem you might face is that birds come in and eat your, your young seedlings. And so I like to use things like strawberry baskets or anything that allows your plant to still get sunlight, but that prevents the birds from eating your young plants. And then the last problem that you might face is seeds that don't germinate. But I never think of this as an issue because seeds 
germinate so quickly as the weather gets warmer. And so if you have some seeds that don't germinate, all you have to do is replant and those plants that you replant will quickly catch up to all the others. In fact, sometimes they grow even faster. For example, I planted my first round of plants in late April and I had a few things that didn't germinate. And so when I replanted, the crops germinated even faster and are pretty much the same size as the first crop that was planted because at the second planting, the weather was warmer and everything took off much quicker. So don't be worried if things don't germinate, you can just replant and the second round is gonna catch up really quick. So I definitely encourage you to try direct sowing these summer crops. It's so easy and it's such a great way to plant these crops because they don't like the roots disturbed and so you're just setting them up for success right from the start when you directly sow them by seed. And then one of the next tasks that you should consider in your garden as everything starts growing is pruning your plants. And not all plants really or really require pruning, but one of the plants that will benefit from some pruning is your squash plants. And you don't want to over prune, but it is beneficial to do some pruning because it helps open up the plants so that pollinators can more easily find the flowers. It also prevents some pests and disease issues. And if you head to this video right here, I walk you through the entire step-by-step -step process. So head to that video next and I'll see you there.